The Big Bang Theory is the most widely accepted explanation of how the universe began. According to this theory, the universe started from a singularity, a point of infinite density and temperature, around 13.8 billion years ago. The singularity then rapidly expanded in an event known as inflation, which caused the universe to expand and cool. Scientists have been able to gather evidence supporting the Big Bang Theory through observations of cosmic microwave background radiation and the observed abundance of light elements such as hydrogen and helium. The Big Bang Theory has successfully explained many phenomena, such as the large-scale structure of the universe and the abundance of elements. Despite its successes, the Big Bang Theory is not without its challenges. For example, the theory does not explain the cause of inflation or what existed before the singularity. In addition, some observations such as the anomalies in the cosmic microwave background radiation suggest that the theory may need some modifications. However, despite these challenges, the Big Bang Theory remains the most widely accepted explanation of the origin of the universe. It has been the subject of intense study and research for many years and has greatly advanced our understanding of the universe and its history. Black holes are among the most fascinating objects in the universe, but they are also among the most mysterious. They are formed when a massive star runs out of fuel and can no longer support itself against the force of gravity. The outer layers of the star collapse inward, creating an incredibly dense and massive object known as a black hole. One of the most striking characteristics of black holes is their immense gravitational pull. This pull is so strong that it prevents anything, including light, from escaping once it passes a point called the event horizon. Beyond the event horizon, the pull of gravity becomes so strong that even time and space are distorted, making it impossible to see what is happening inside. Despite their mysterious nature, scientists have been able to learn a lot about black holes through careful observation and theoretical models. One of the most interesting aspects of black holes is that they can gain and lose mass over time. As material falls into a black hole, it adds to its mass and makes the gravitational pull even stronger. However, black holes can also lose mass over time through a process known as Hawking radiation. Hawking radiation is a phenomenon that occurs due to the quantum mechanical effects that take place near the event horizon of a black hole. According to the theory, pairs of particles are constantly being created near the event horizon, with one particle falling into the black hole and the other escaping into space. As a result, the black hole loses mass and energy, and its temperature increases. Eventually, over an extremely long period of time, the black hole will emit all of its energy in the form of radiation and disappear completely. This idea was proposed by Stephen Hawking in the 1970s, and it was a major breakthrough in our understanding of black holes. It challenged the long-held belief that black holes were completely unchanging and provided a new way to think about their evolution. Today, the concept of Hawking radiation is widely accepted by the scientific community, and many researchers are working to understand its implications for the fate of black holes and the universe as a whole. The event horizon is a defining feature of black holes and marks the point of no return. It's the region of space-time where the gravitational pull becomes so strong that even light cannot escape. Beyond the event horizon, the black hole's gravity is so intense that it warps space and time, creating a singularity at the center. Until recently, it was believed that the size of the event horizon was fixed, determined solely by the mass of the black hole. However, new studies in quantum mechanics have challenged this idea. According to the principles of quantum mechanics, particles can exist in multiple states at once, including multiple locations. This means that there is a small probability that particles can exist inside the event horizon and still escape. This phenomenon is known as quantum tunneling, and it suggests that the event horizon is not a fixed boundary but can fluctuate over time due to quantum effects. These fluctuations are believed to be significant for microscopic black holes, which are small enough to be influenced by quantum mechanics. However, for larger black holes, the fluctuations are negligible and difficult to detect. Cosmic inflation is a theory that was proposed to explain the observed uniformity and smoothness of the universe on a large scale. According to this theory, the universe expanded rapidly, almost instantaneously, during the first moments after the Big Bang. This rapid expansion would have smoothed out any initial irregularities, making the universe appear uniform at large scales. However, some physicists have proposed an alternative explanation for cosmic inflation. 
They suggest that our universe may be a region inside a black hole, and that the rapid expansion of the universe was not due to cosmic inflation, but rather a consequence of the black hole's formation. According to this idea, a massive star collapsed and formed a black hole, and our universe was formed inside it. As the black hole gained mass, it expanded, causing the universe inside it to expand as well. This expansion would have given the universe the appearance of cosmic inflation. This theory is highly speculative, and there is no direct evidence to support it. Dark energy is one of the most enigmatic and puzzling phenomena in modern astrophysics. It's a mysterious form of energy that is thought to permeate all of space and is responsible for the observed accelerated expansion of the universe. However, scientists have yet to detect or fully understand this elusive energy. One hypothesis is that dark energy could be connected to black holes. Some scientists propose that dark energy could be related to the properties of space and time near black holes. According to the theory of general relativity, gravity arises due to the warping of space-time caused by massive objects. Black holes, being the most massive objects in the universe, have an enormous effect on the surrounding space-time. It's possible that the warping of space-time caused by black holes is related to the behavior of dark energy. Another possible connection between black holes and dark energy is through the concept of cosmic voids. Cosmic voids are vast regions of space that contain few or no galaxies. These voids are thought to be expanding faster than the rest of the universe, and some scientists have proposed that this accelerated expansion is due to dark energy. However, recent studies have shown that the behavior of cosmic voids could also be explained by the presence of a supermassive black hole at the center of each void. Although the relationship between black holes and dark energy is still not well understood, it's clear that these two phenomena could be closely related. Further research and observations are necessary to unravel the mysteries of dark energy and its connection to black holes. Conformal cyclic cosmology is a theory proposed by Roger Penrose that suggests that the universe undergoes an infinite cycle of expansion and contraction. According to this theory, the universe starts from a singularity, expands rapidly during the inflationary period, then eventually contracts and collapses into a black hole. This black hole, in turn, gives rise to a new universe through a process called the Big Bounce. In this theory, the universe we observe today is just one of many universes that have existed before and will exist in the future. The cyclic nature of the universe means that there is no real beginning or end to time, and the past and future are essentially the same. One of the interesting implications of conformal cyclic cosmology is that it suggests that black holes may play a crucial role in the evolution of the universe. In this theory, black holes are not just endpoints of massive stars, but are also the birthplaces of new universes. The idea is that the singularity at the center of a black hole acts as a bridge between our universe and another, allowing energy and information to pass through. Hawking points are predicted regions in the cosmic microwave background radiation that would be colder than their surroundings. They were proposed as a key aspect of Roger Penrose's theory of conformal cyclic cosmology. According to this theory, the universe goes through an infinite cycle of expansion and contraction, with each cycle beginning with a singularity and ending in a black hole. This means that the universe we currently inhabit may have emerged from a black hole in a previous cycle. The idea of Hawking points is derived from Stephen Hawking's theory of Hawking radiation, which suggests that black holes eventually evaporate and emit radiation. As a black hole evaporates, it will release more and more energy, causing it to become hotter. However, if the black hole is embedded in a contracting universe, the radiation it emits will be stretched and redshifted as the universe shrinks, eventually becoming too cold to be detectable. If conformal cyclic cosmology is correct, we should be able to observe these Hawking points in the cosmic microwave background radiation. The cosmic microwave background radiation is the afterglow of the Big Bang and is present in all directions in space. If we can identify regions in this radiation that are colder than their surroundings, it could be evidence that we live in a universe that is part of an infinite cycle of expansion and contraction. In the field of astrophysics, there are many ideas and theories that have been proposed, but not all of them have been confirmed with empirical evidence. Some of these ideas are considered to be speculative hypotheses, which means they have yet to be proven or disproven by experiments and observations. 
One of the most intriguing speculative hypotheses in astrophysics is the idea that black holes may be connected to the birth of universes. This theory suggests that black holes may be portals through which matter and energy can enter into new universes or even create them. While there is some evidence to support this idea, such as the mathematical models of conformal cyclic cosmology and the concept of Hawking points, these ideas are still speculative and require further research and experimentation to confirm their validity. Other speculative hypotheses in astrophysics include the possibility of multiple universes or parallel universes, the existence of dark matter particles that have yet to be detected, and the idea of wormholes that could allow for faster than light travel. While these ideas may seem far-fetched, they are important to consider because they push the boundaries of what we know and challenge our understanding of the universe. As technology advances and we gather more data from observations and experiments, we may one day be able to confirm or disprove these speculative hypotheses and gain a deeper understanding of the cosmos, who knows what we'll discover next about the nature of our universe. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more.